Cinco, your Tahoe Concierge Realtor with Sierra Sotheby's International Realty. Today, I wanted to talk with you about the differences between forced air heat and radiant heat. Now, this is important information to know if you're buying a home here in Tahoe and Truckee. Now, in forced air heat, there's a furnace somewhere in the house. It's usually gas, sometimes it's electric, and there's ducting that runs from the furnace to the different rooms of the house, heating each room up. Now the ducting that comes up from the furnace actually takes up quite a lot of space and it also blows dust all over your house when it's blowing in the warm air. There are filters you're going to need to change every few months depending on how often you're using that furnace. It's noisier. It's a convective heat so it heats the house up much faster than radiant heat. It's generally less expensive to install. It has a short ramp up time so it has a quicker temperature recovery time. Forced air heat is good for a vacation home because if you're going to be gone all winter or for most of the winter, you can actually drain your pipes, completely turn off the heater, and you won't be using any utilities all winter long. Now how radiant heat works is it actually heats up the floor, which in turn heats up everything else in your house. It's quiet, there aren't any moving parts except for the water and the radiant system. It can actually feel more comfortable at a lower temperature because all of the objects in the house are warm. It's also installed in zones, so you can vary the temperature from one room to the next. Some people have a system where they have a water heater in the house that heats the water for the house and the radiant system in the floor, which is what I'm installing in my new home. Probably more people have a separate boiler to heat the radiant system, but it's a little bit more expensive that way. Now, if it's a continuously occupied house, radiant heat is really good. If it's a vacation home, and you want to turn the heat up, it takes a while to get that temperature going. So you're going to want to have like a Nest thermostat or something that you can operate remotely with your smartphone. Turn up that heat 24 hours in advance before you get there. No matter what kind of primary heat you have, it's nice to have a secondary source of heat such as a gas or wood-burning fireplace to really warm you up quick on those cold wintry nights. There's a lot to look at when you're buying a house here in Tahoe and because it gets so cold you want to look closely at that heating system. I'd love to help you buy and sell some property here in Tahoe and Truckee. If you use me to help you do so, I will donate 5% of my commission to the Humane Society of Truckee Tahoe. My name is Chris Hinkle. I'm your Tahoe Concierge Realtor with Sierra Sotheby's International Realty. Give me a call at 530-412-2644. I look forward to hearing from you.